Where do you draw the line between fun and sheer terror? For a lot of people, this is as far over that line as you can get. One, two, three. This is a room full of the least coaster-friendly people around. Just think of the cajoling they've endured from their friends, their children, being called chicken for their fear of roller coasters. Marcos Gonzalez was one of the coaster phobics handpicked by Harvard professors of psychology Michael Otto and Brian Newmark for this study in stress management. When I was nine, I got in this roller coaster called Thriller, and right there I said, I am never gonna get in a roller coaster again. I screamed, I cried, I couldn't get off. The theory is simple. For a lot of people, roller coasters are the illusion of danger, not actual danger. But what happens with people who are very sensitive to this experience is they immediately go from it looks dangerous, therefore it must be, therefore I'm going to die. Marcos and his fellow students are paired up with mentors, members of coaster enthusiast clubs from around the country. Marcos nervously waits his turn, listening to the screams ahead of him. First you sit on that chair. And they, they hold you like somebody's doing a bear hug. And you're just thinking, what am I doing here? And then you just start moving up. It's steep, crazy steep, like, oh my gosh. I would ride it again. Yes, I would. 